Aloha everybody, and in this particular episode of Doing Hawaii, we're going to take a closer look at some of the features of the Fissure 8 lava channel that was created during the 2018 Kilauea eruption. Now if everyone would please step into the atomic compressor, we will then board the drone and be on our way. Now that we're all aboard, we will head across the channel to the other side. And if you will direct your attention downward, you will see through the glass floor the surface of what once was the lava river flowing through the channel that was created by the fissure 8 of the Kilauea volcano eruption of 2018. It almost looks like a, a glacier from above in some places solid but cracks it, it's amazing really now what we're actually doing is we're flying across the, the channel to take a look at a feature over there uh, and here we are we've arrived at the other edge so we're going to adjust a little bit and get a better camera view and then we're going to descend down into the channel itself and what we're looking at is this dark spot in the top center of the screen um, it looked like a potential lava tube or something of that nature but it actually turns out it's just a actual kind of a little bit of a, a divot or a cave into the side of the channel not quite sure what the process was that created that Real quick before we continue on our journey, I just want to take a moment to say mahalo to all of the viewers and supporters of the channel out there. Without your support, I would not have had the resources to get the education and the uh, test for the commercial drone pilot's license, which make this video possible. If you'd like to help support the channel or continue supporting the channel, some of the best ways to do that would be to visit one of my online stores and pick you up some amazing merchandise. I put a lot of my photography up there on phone cases, laptop skins, t-shirts, things of that sort. Uh, there's two different locations. Links for those are in the description below. Another great way is with super chats during live streams and premieres. Finally, another really good way is simply by watching, liking, and sharing. Now with those brief announcements from our pilot out of the way, we'll move over to our next destination. We are viewing the Mackay side or ocean side of the lava channel heading upriver towards the fissure 8 cone system. Oh, it looks like our pilot has spotted something that he wants to investigate. Let's see what it is. I was just told by the pilot that there's actually two features that he wanted to point out for us. The first one being that mass of rock stuck to the side of the cliff. It looks like some of the surface of the lava river showing how high it was at one point. The second one, a sulfur deposit located at the end of the brightest white area right in the middle. However, it seems that the visual inductors are not picking up on that color very well. I'll have to have tech support check it out once we return back to home base. I believe the pilot is now lining up for a grand reveal shot of the fissure 8 cone itself. And yes, that's exactly what's happening. And here it is, fissure 8. And there to the left is the channel that leads directly to the fissure 8 cone. Before we continue on to our de next destination, which is the pillar of rock right there in front of us, we're going to take a very grand wide sweeping 360 view of this area of the fissure 8 lava river channel system. There is some amazing features to see and we will see around the edges of the channel uh, quite a few areas where it looks like collapses have occurred. We are now looking at the Malka side or mountain side of the channel system. Coming into the right hand view is where the channel continues and eventually flows and reaches the Kapoho area. And of course the little pit stop area that our pilot had decided to take us. Oh look at there, see the yellow in the middle? That actually is the sulfur deposit that uh, he wanted us to see earlier. 
and that completes the 360 rotation. Apparently the pilot wants to give y'all a better view of Fissure 8, so give us just a moment to adjust the aircraft. And apparently, as promised, a better view of Fissure 8. Just amazing. Now I do believe we will be moving over to our next actually scheduled stop on this tour, right? <laughs> Looks like our pilot's got a sense of humor. Now that we've reached our next destination, um, what we're looking at here is a column of lava rock. It actually divided the uh, river coming from the source into two separate streams momentarily. Um, as you can see, it came back together right after. So it became literally a island in the lava river. I am now going to step back for a moment and allow all of y'all to enjoy the visual experience that you are witnessing. That was absolutely spectacular. All the different colors and features and layers. It is really amazing. Before we depart this location and head to the next stop on our list, we're going to take a nice aerial overview of this particular feature so that we can get a good look at the top surface of it on our way out. We will then actually fly over it, heading to the next destination. Everybody take your final looks as we depart this location and head over to our next destination, which is very near our original starting point, and we will take a look at the Malka side of the channel. Thank you. 
we have reached our final destination in this virtual tour and in just a moment we will descend back down into the lava channel and we're going to take a look at the edge and the cliff surface because if you look at that there it is just amazing look at the gradient of colors and all the different layers if you look at the top uh, most layers there that is layers that were actually created by splash over from the lava river as it raged through the middle of Leilani Estates. At least that's what I believe they are. Moving to our right, or down the channel edge, we see this pile of rubble, uh, lava rock rubble. Not quite sure exactly where it all come from. Um, that is a big chunk of cliff face that would have had to collapse, but if we notice from just previously the the bottom layers look pretty solid so this must be mostly this very thinly layered uh shell type lava or is the pohoahoy the splash over must have built some type of little uh protrusion or something there and uh molten rock flowed under it and now it's collapsed Moving further down the channel, we see some more layering action occurring. It is absolutely spectacular to, to be able to see these formations. And if we turn to our right and take a, a further look down the channel system, we will see that this layering pattern continues all the way down. I believe it would be safe to say that this is the different stages of the eruption being recorded in geological history. The pilot has just notified us that we are out of flight time and we will now be heading back to our point of departure. So please just sit back and enjoy the very short ride back to our landing location. Once we've landed, don't forget to hit that like and share button. If you want notifications for future flights, you need to hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. We are now preparing to land. Please make sure your gravity seats are in the upright and fully locked position. You will be atomically decompressed after deboarding the aircraft. Thank you for flying during Hawaii virtual tours and you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.